Hey, what's up guys? Greg here and we're going to be creating an NFT with iMovie. You can pretty much use any program. You will need to create an MP4 file if you're going to be uploading it to an F NFT platform like Rarible or OpenSea. So a lot of my tutorials are based on OpenSea. We're not going to really cover the Ethereum purchase and the wallets and gas transaction side of things. I've got an online course for that. I will put links below. But this video is going to focus on the creativity side of things on iMovie. So I'll just let you take a quick look at one I've already created. This is of a time lapse. So the only limitation is that the file needs to be 100 megabytes. All right, so this one has some transitions. It's got lower thirds. And I think that iMovie is fine for creating an NFT. Okay, so let's go back up to our projects. Let's create a new one. Let's create a movie. So the first thing we need to do is import our media. So if you haven't done that, please go ahead, pause this video and then come back. I've already set aside some photos and videos in one of my folders. And my theme is going to be a digital nomad NFT. What I'm going to do is try to just put some memories from my digital nomad journey. Um, I'm not sure it's going to turn out to be honest, but I'm going to use a mixture of photos and videos and I want it to be unique. All right. So this one is special here. And what I like about iMovie is that by default, it puts movements on your, on your photos. So maybe hard to see on your screen. Okay. So the, the wonky thing about iMovie is that you have to bring your mouse over here if you want more real estate for your screen. Okay. If you want to control the movement of the photo, you can click on the cropping feature by default it's set on the Ken Burns and it gives you a start and an end frame. If you're okay with that, then just click off. Let's just play this back to see what it's doing here. Okay. So that's a very special, um, moment for Chiang Mai. This here is also a very special moment. This used to be one of the 24 seven cafes, not open anymore. All right. This is also very special. Any digital nomad that sees a scene will know exactly what this is about. And I want to try to get kind of capture that, um, that vibe. Yeah, this is a nice one. Yeah, that's kind of raw. I like that. I like that. So I like that raw sound and maybe if we put this at the beginning, We can put these photos over so they capture the sound. Nice. This coconut scene. Yeah.
That's very raw. I like that. Okay, we just want to fade the muse the audio out so it's not too abrupt. Okay, and then we can overlay some photos on top. Some red truck. Red truck action. Just mute that, mute the sound from that clip. Oops, let's just fade out the audio there. And let's overlay this photo. Very nice. All right, let's just see if there's any other media. This is a really cool scene here. This is Loy Kertong. Very special memories, especially looking back during the pandemic. There we go. Let's put that at the beginning. This may just hook people in. All right, let's find a nice transition here. Maybe a bit limited with iMovie, but let's let's work with it. So if we're on a drone shot, perfect. We can use a cross zoom. So let's just drag that transition between the drone clip. Let's just put a title here. Try doing a Star Wars style. Something kind of cheesy like that. So I'm just going to type in my font here. Whoops.
It's nice to have that audio. And I'm not even going to fade out. What I will do is maybe apply color filter. There's some nice ones in iMovie actually. So let's just take a look at what we have here. Dreamy. Let's go with old world. Now we have to apply this filter to all the clips. There we go. And okay, so I have a 29 second long video let's just go to share file share file and we want to keep it under 100 megabytes so this is perfect golden era chiang mai video and audio quality high perfect Alright, so we've exported the file and the great thing is that this file is ready to go. It's already in an MP4. Let's just play it back. Great. So thanks for sticking around. We are actually going to upload this to OpenSea. So if you want the step by step, definitely check out the course. I already have a collection and an account. So this is going to be pretty fast for me. So I'm going to go over to my collections. I will need to get a screen grab. So let's just get a screen grab. file share image and Chiang Mai golden era okay so one great thing about OpenSea is if you plan to create multiple ETFs you can see that I've got quite a few here that it really pays off to go with Ocean OpenSea it took um, a little bit of figuring out to get the the fee going and I paid about over 100 US for the network fee and that price will vary depending on the price of Ethereum gas let's just see if we can get it going yes I do have a plug-in here and basically I think I purchased mine close to 100 so if it's 193 that's actually quite expensive so I, I'll go into the gas prices in the course, but as I said, you can just pay one network fee and then if you want to mint additional items, you don't have to pay an additional fee. So there's a tip for you. So let's go ahead and find this file. So we've uploaded the video, great, we now need an image, alright 
I'm just going to pause it. I want to put in my website. So if you want to put additional content, you can enable that. I'm not going to do that here. There is a way that you can create additional supply at no additional costs, but this feature is still being worked on. That's why it's not easy to enable it. So I'm just going to go with one. I'm going to click create. So this part may take some time. All right, there we go. So we want to click sell. So at this point, our NFT has been listed. And so if we do a bundle or we do set price, we won't have to pay anything extra. The simplest method, in my opinion, is set price. So we're going to go to Ethereum. Now, this is useful if you have an Ethereum calculator. If you don't, you can just quickly Google uh, Ethereum US calculator. So basically, one Ethereum currently is worth about just over $1,800. So we're going to select Ethereum. We'll put it at one. Ending price must be less than the starting price. We're going to put it at five. Now this is one of a kind. Now you really have to think about your pricing here. What are you going to be happy with? About 600 and we'll expire this in five days. Let's put a two and a half percent bounty. If anyone does help sell this, they earn 2.5 percent. Plus there's a 2.5% fee from OpenSea. All right, so we click post our listing. Sometimes you may need to do it more than once. Okay, so I log back on now. We've got the listing window back and boom, there we go. So our NFT is now minted, meaning that it's written to the blockchain no additional costs and this is the current price so it's gonna continue to decline until it gets an offer it expires in five days so i'm just going to share this out on twitter and facebook All right, I definitely want to share it out to uh, my digital nomads group. Sometimes the second time you share it will actually show the thumbnail. Just a little tip. Boom, there we go. And so, yeah, I uh, hope you found this video helpful. So just to quickly summarize what we did, we went into iMovie, we created a brand new project and we used the combo of photos and photos and videos. And we used some transitions, some color filters, even a drone clip. Just gave it a quick title. We exported the video. And the great thing about iMovie is that it's simple and it creates an MP4 right from the program. No conversion needed. And uh, we then went to OpenSea. We just created a brand new NFT. I already have an account with OpenSea, so subsequent NFTs that you write under your account or your wallet 
you don't have to pay extra. And then we just created a set price which declines over the five days. And that's it.